Hello everyone, this is Dr. Russell Schaefer. Today I'm going to go into an interesting case I just did. Um, so yeah, this is a case with a guy I fixed up a few years back. He's got a, we're going to make an upper immediate denture form and a lower partial. I made an upper denture, for, upper partial form a few years back. He's got a cleft palate. Um, so things are a little bit wonky for him. Uh, clearly didn't take care of anything. Um, but yeah, it's just time to fix things. So we first start out by scanning him up with my i500. Everyone keeps on talking bad stuff about the i500, but I love my little scanner, man. This thing's still doing what I need to do after, what, three, four years I've owned it for? Um, yeah, I love this thing. Um, particularly because it just still does a good job scanning everything I need to do. I know my denture's going to fit perfectly. Um, and where I'm really going to like it for actually is we have to go to the lower partial. Particularly because even though it doesn't do a good job scanning dentulous areas like this large dentulous uh, back part, I can actually switch over to my alginate. Because um, what I like scanning for, for my dentulous areas, I'm going to take a lower alginate impression here in just a second. And it's going to do a great job merging the files because guess what? Who needs to you know pull back that tongue with anything? When I can just take, merge it with an alginate and look how quickly that goes. Yeah, that's easy right there as can be. Now what we do next is I'm going to uh, put the his upper partial in, and we're going to kind of scan that, um, and that's going to be a bite right there. The uh, software is going to kind of figure out where the, how the teeth all merge together, and it does a great job. And you can see in just a second here how everything just gets merged up, and that bite looks about right when I look at it clinically. Um, we're going to open up Blue Sky Plan, throw it all in there, and this is going to be pretty awesome right now, because um, we're going to kind of just, try to just throw everything in there now, um, align everything up. His just everything's just kind of off in this guy's face. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, yeah, I, I did a couple different ways here. Just all the all of his occlusion always looks wonky. If you did a face on this guy, it would look about the same. You know, I know it looks off. It just is off. Oh well. Um, yeah, that is what it is. So first, we're going to do here is we're going to start just adjusting the models a little bit here. Um, so first things first is that we're going to do some um, adjustment on the teeth here. And so we're going to hide up the models and we're going to just cut back the teeth. So let us just um, start out by, you know, selecting just the time actually the model, cut back those teeth. This goes kind of slow. I always like to take my time here, honestly, because if you don't take your time, you're going to cut back more than you want to. I use here the cuts function that's under the surfaces and you just go cut. Um, you can also use the model, this on model edit. Um, you know, it'll give you a little surface error function here, not a big deal. Um, you're going to see me in a second, just click on there, the, you know, um, what's it called, little don't shell again, not a big deal, don't worry about that. Um, you know, you can also use the model edit, they have a little selection, surface selection brush. Also in a second, we're about to speed the film, but I kind of want to go through this really a bit slower for the first time, just so you can kind of see how it goes. Um, spend some time on this part right here, selecting out the teeth. I like to go from the non-working side, as we call this right here. Um, working and not working is kind of a big thing, especially when you're doing model editing, just because, um, how to describe it, it just kind of matters what side the the, um, the software thinks is actually the important side of it. Um, you know, as you start working with 3D modeling more and more and more, it matters. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see what we get right here. You know, we got some little, like, blebs, as I almost call them. We kind of want to edit those out, kind of clean them up a little more. Um, and yeah, we get some kind of nice working models where we've almost kind of shaved off the teeth right there. And so, yeah, we have uh, some big holes, which we're going to start selecting here. And we're going to select those. I'm holding it down shift and it's kind of clicking on the holes. And I got one little other hole right there. And we're going to close the holes. It takes a little longer in the software, especially because that one big hole on the left side. Um, so I kind of sped the software and kind of cut out the extras. And I've got a little hole as well. Not a big deal. And next we're going to start doing is we're going to start smoothing out the stuff a little bit here. And yeah, you really want to smooth. I just find the more you kind of modify the surfaces right now, the quicker everything else goes later on. Um, yeah. Now I'm going to save the project. You always want to save the projects um, with all everything. Blue Sky Plan does not have an auto save feature. Just trust me, save the projects. Now I'm actually going to speed this one up a lot. I am kind of particular with editing models. I'm spending something 15 times. I think I spent like probably four or five minutes or six minutes on actually editing the lower model. Just what I do. I like having really clean models. So with this guy right here, we did a top uh, printed intro form. I actually sent the lower model off to a lab. Uh, this was a Medicaid case, so I didn't get paid that much for it. So I have a lower cost lab that I sent off to. Um, and I find that with my low cost labs, I like to send it off. Now I'm actually editing the top model a little bit more here just to make it easier for me. 
Now, if I was going to send this off to a, a lab to make everything here, let me show you what I would do. We are going to make a hollow top model and hollow bottom model. Um, and I would actually want to articulate these models. That way the lab has no question about where I want stuff at. I find that what labs kind of want, they kind of want two perfectly articulated models that have everything just done for them. Um, it's just so much easier for them. And I like Blue Sky's plans articulating software just so much. It's so easy to work with. It's almost like just, it's probably just a little bit too dumb almost. I hate to say dumb, but it's just like, it's just kind of what you see is what you get. Um, we just merged, we just put some articulating stuff on there. It's so easy to work with. Now we're gonna edit it all out. We're gonna export the files right into the, um, right into the folder. I make some really big names for everything, export both the files separately. And I would actually just mail these to the lab, email to this lab. My labs, the lab that I work with, the low cost lab loves them. I get back perfect dentures, perfect partials, because there's no question. Anyway, now we're gonna go over to them. How can make some dentures now? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use the, David, the Bernays library. I like the Bernays Square, Bernays Oval. I kind of choose whichever one I like more at the time. Mm. You guys see right now, I, I spend a lot of time, I think I sped this up 4X times. You know, we're really just kind of, I'm tweaking a lot here. You know, I like to tweak. You know, try to get the 8, 9 to write the position first. And then I get um, 23, 24, or 24, 25 in the right position. Now I kind of just modify, you know, going from mesial to distal, from 8 to 9 to posterior, or to distal, and trying to get those teeth in the right position here. And you can see I'm just kind of really playing around with things a little bit by little bit, um, comparing 8, 9 and the other front teeth. And then I remove all the lower teeth from where I need them to be at. And then we're just really tweaking, tweaking, tweaking. Because the more you tweak right here, the easier it gets to later on. Perfect. I'm liking how that's looking. You can really, you know, just on some very fine movements. Um, this probably maybe took me 10 minutes to actually do right now. Now, I'm removing the second molars just because I really don't need them. I can just see, often have them knocking second molars off anyway. Um, after you knock second molars off, you've got to remark the tooth chain. Not a big deal. And I'm doing one final check just to make sure I like my alignment. Um, so, perfect. That looks good. Now I'm just creating my denture, creating my posterior palatal seal. That's still like posterior palatal seals. You can see I like 1.5 millimeter thickness. And after we get the posterior palatal uh, seal created right there, um, we're going to cr create our uh, little thing right there. It goes really fast, just like that. Create our contour. Wonderful. Now at this next part, um, what I like to do is I will make this thing really, really, really smooth. Um, so what's that really mean? That means that we just make everything about as smooth as we possibly can. I don't like to have any, any, any um, marks at all. No one wants a, no one wants a lumpy or bumpy denture. But what I will do is I will remove actually a lot from that, you know, that front spot to make my, I like my big teeth be big. And then I'll actually use my offset and my uh, minimum denture thickness. That's my favorite settings right now for Blue Sky Plan. Prints out really nice Macuretta. And we get some really good results from that. Goes really fast here because we're at about I think four times speed. And now we're going to next. Now what I'll do is I'll export this teeth as they are right now, makes it easier for later on. Now we're gonna do the lower partial. Now I am I'm just showing you how to do the lower partial here. Even though I'm not doing it. Um, you want to print out lower partials. Blue Sky Plan does a really good job. Used to not in the order versions of it, didn't do a very good job, but no, no one wants it. It's a really nice job. Play it a little bit here. You know, kind of, um, you're fudging the software a little bit, but not too bad. And again, we're going to add a little bit so the teeth actually kind of connect to the denture. Now, I will, I will, if I was going to print this out, I'd do it monolithically. Smooth everything out, make it thicker, but make it smooth. I don't need to worry about teeth offset because I'm not going to worry about that or minimum denture thickness. Now, I would print this out monolithically. Um, I'm not going to export this. Mostly because um, I don't want to get charged for a credit here. Um, I had done this case earlier, actually, so I didn't export anything. But now, with this guy right here, what I would do is, because I'm sending off the lower partial, but I'm printing out the upper denture for him, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut back the upper denture base, um, send it off monolithically, but I'm going to um, kind of send it off articulated. So let me show you what I would do here. I would make a duplicate of the denture uh, base, I would kind of cut that denture base back a little bit. I think you see me doing right here, and this just make that easier to print out for the lab. I would then create a, a solid model of that denture base. And I would save it again. You've saved these things. Uh, save early, save often, kind of like how you vote. Um, 
That's a joke. And, um, you know, you want to articulate that with a mandibular model. You can see here how I'm just kind of playing with the supports here for the articulation. You know, kind of get everything lined up nicely here. And after we do that, um, what we're going to do is that, you know, you keep on playing, playing, playing a little bit, just to make sure you get some nice, something nice. So that way, kind of assume this is going to a lab tech, you know, that is, the lab tech that's going to be mounting this will be kind of their, the youngest guy or gal that has the least amount of experience. And now we're going to export, you know, the top base with teeth with the supports. And then we're going to export the mandibular model with the, with the um, articulation pins as well. Oh, if I can see right here, the teeth are on there. So you got to get the teeth off there. That way it's easier to, to um, export. So yeah, you can see what I'm saving it as. And let's see what this turns out like. So you can kind of get an idea what it would look like. And you can see right here, I hope I imported the wrong models here. Just make sure it's in the right ones to the lab, otherwise they'll get bad models. And those are the models I sent in the lab. That would look pretty perfect. So I hope you enjoyed that quick little um, thing I sent I uh, sent off right there. Um, that's my whole presentation right there. You know, if you want to learn more, come take my course, DentureC.com. I'd love to have you all by. I teach courses on this sort of stuff. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.